disturbing. Oh, so uh, me in the bed every night with your shy. <laughs> this video, Team Fortress <laughs> character spy. Ah. Reapers, what is good? It's your boy Laser. You the vibes back with another scary reaction video. He's on the scary content. So you can deliver that for you guys. Directing the top 15 scariest YouTube channels with links. Guys, there's so many disturbing videos on the internet. We're just showing if you enjoy scary content, we're scary features, hit the like button. You subscribe to a notification bell. I can rush every night. Twitch streams are fucking amazing. Let's dive straight into this video. Number 15, Luis Paxton. This channel is now titled Luis is Missing because the owner of the channel, Luis Paxton, is currently missing. She started vlogging after moving to a new apartment in London. Oh, hey, shoddy. After She's in, fine, bro. A man began stalking her, which she captured on camera multiple times. I wonder why. The main videos featured on her channel are titled Stalker Videos. Was she okay, and She wrote, I made these videos to show the police what's been happening to me. I'm posting them because I don't know what to do now. Oh my god. That door was closed. <laughs> ah! An update on the website dedicated to finding her says, For the past three years, we have watched as the police investigation into Luis's disappearance has gone nowhere. Now that you know the story, you should also know that the whole thing was a hoax, with Paxton actually being actress Zoe Richards. Nonetheless, the videos are still pretty scary. Number 14. Seinfeld Spitstain, an animation channel with a fixation on kids' cartoons, most notably Jimmy Neutron, but also shows like SpongeBob SquarePants. His most popular video is titled Jimmy Neutron Happy Family Happy Hour and shows Jimmy's dad being completely insane by shooting Jimmy's mom before demanding Jimmy to order a pizza. The two then spend huh? quality time together before the pizza attacks Jimmy's dad. Just another day in the life of Jimmy Neutron. Hey Jimmy, you good? Your eyeballs look a little popped out. Did uh, did you get uh, let's see like Glenn? Go to Popeyes. Number thirteen, Krena Grisbo TV. This channel's videos are all in Polish and take place in a place called Why the Eyes Mushrooms. The videos look like an '80s Eastern European children's show, but the videos are definitely not meant for children. No, really. Yet disturbing nonetheless. That's actually terrifying, bro. Dude, imagine, like, thank God I'm watching this shit. Bro, thank God I do my reaction videos during the day. I mean, I play scary games at night, but damn, bro. What the fuck is this? This is disturbing. Look at her eyes, bro. Less. The host aims to teach the head twitching. That's so, so weird. Episode like how to effectively apple and how to make from paper. The what? Text is usually forgotten about near the end of the video, and things turn into complete chaos. The grammar. Possibly the creepiest thing about this channel, though, is the paper eyes that are pasted over her real ones. Number twelve to the arc. This channel serves as the antagonist in the Marble Hornets YouTube series which revolves around Slenderman. To the Slenderman. Videos are cryptic responses to the videos created. Do you know what's crazy, bro? When I was a little kid, I used to just watch a shit ton of, like, Slender videos on YouTube, and I used to believe they were real. I know you guys have all seen that one Slender video. You guys know exactly which one I'm about to talk about. The one where, like, there's two parts, I believe. You guys, I swear we've all seen it, bro. They go, I feel like most people have seen it. Any Slender fan has seen it. They go, it starts out with them, like, ding on ditching, and then, like, they fucking drop their camera, and they find, like, you, I used to believe that shit was real, bro. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, you guys know what I'm talking about. By Marble Hornets. The actual identity of the channel owner is unknown, with the creator of Marble Hornets thinking it has to be multiple people since the videos are so different. The videos are meant to be confusing and serve almost as puzzles to get the message of each video response. For example, the video Regards, which is a response to Marble Hornets entry number 9, just shows different amounts of dashes followed by the word closely. If you count the dashes, you get 12, 15, and 11. The 12th, 15th, and 11th letters of the alphabet are L, O, and K. The final of this video being look closely. 
Number 11, Syriac. This British freelance animator has quite the following on YouTube. Look at the, the, the YouTube banner. His videos begin with normal clips of things like a sheep running in one of his most popular Meow! Yeah. Bah, before the animal begins morphing. What the fuck? Marish. That's a skinwalker. It's titled something, and it shows classic black and white clips with their faces edited in a way that can only be described as disturbing. Syriac's creepy editing has led to to the most mainstream success when compared to the other channels. What the fuck videos, am I watching? Animating commercials, music videos, and several. I put my life on. It, I feel like I've seen this shit before, dude. I react to so many videos, so it's like I know I get repeats at times. Real bumps. I hate that, but like, damn. Network. Oh my bad, guys. My bad. Oh shit, my testicles in the cum milk it was everywhere. My bad. Number ten. Yow. The videos on this channel actually form into an hour and 45 minute long movie titled IB Area. It was made by Ryan Tricartin and has received quite positive reviews, despite the genre of this film being somewhere between science fiction and surrealism. The visuals are quite creepy, with the main character covered in bright colored makeup, especially yellow. Here's a clip and you can decide for yourself whether it's scary or not. Oh my god, Pasta, a year is so short, but it counts for so long. <laughs> Number nine. What the fuck? An animation channel that focuses on parodies and Team Fortress. characters of Team Fortress 2. His videos are usually very confusing and creepy. Sometimes the videos are down. <laughs> nah, this isn't even creepy. This is just a masterpiece. What is this, bro? Right, disturbing. Oh, uh, me in the bed every night with your shy. This video, <laughs> Team Fortress <laughs> character Spy, ah! before he's eaten by a ah! Mario head. It then cuts to him lying on the ground, implying the whole thing was a daydream before crab walking out of the Oh, my bad, guys, that was me. Eight, smile with me, easily the most hidden channel on this list. The videos you find here will leave you very unsettled and confused as to what the message was. You Jesus must help. Cryptic. His video Borselvik shows going through a door before the words blinded by the fool's paradise. What the fuck is that skeleton doing? Was that skeleton humping something? And I watch from the key There's like can be seen. <laughs> the video ends with this. Hello. Ah! Solving the hidden messages behind these videos. Number seven. Jillian Mayer, this postmodern artist, Ooh, fine. focuses many of her videos You're on fine. society's dependence on technology. Her most popular video is titled "I Am Your Grandma" and is a song for her unborn. Oh, son, I'm happy. This might not sound very Never mind. scary until you see the costume she wears. The most disturbing video on her channel is by far Day Chip, and it shows her inserting a computer chip into a woman's forehead, followed by another creepy music video like I Am Your Grandma. Bro, this is literally equivalent to how my dreams are, bro. I swear my mom, and this looks something like out my dreams. What the fuck am I watching right now? What is this shit? Number 6, Andy Wilson 92, a YouTube channel with low quality disturbing parodies of her favorite kids characters. His most popular video oh, is Thomas the Train, Thomas the Tank Engine and Sonic the Hedgehog. A lot of his videos are based around popular TV show creepy pastas. Squidward suicide. suicide. Dude, I uh, I already told you guys in one of the other episodes um how I actually emailed Nickelodeon, bro, and they actually responded. <laughs> I used to believe that shit. But here's the thing, though. Squidward's Suicide and Remus were, like, different things. See, people mix those two up. People think it's the same shit. They're actually different. I think Remus is actually different from Squidward's Suicide. They're two different creepy creepypastas. But they're similar, though. All I know is, um, I, re I just remember... And I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys that email. I'm, I'm gonna show you guys it, like, once we pick up Steam. Like, at the time I'm recording this, we haven't really, like, you know, went up yet. But, like, you guys are gonna have to remind me in the future. You guys better remind me. I'm not gonna show it in like a video, I'll probably just show it in like a TikTok or if TikTok's still around. I don't know, I'll, I'll show you guys in some way. Which is also easily his scary. I might post that on the yes, that remind me. Of SpongeBob, you guys Patrick better remind me. Squidward are nothing short of horrifying, and this video is, is that dog show his nose. If you're a fan of the creepy pasta. <laughs>
Dude, you wonder what's crazy too about these animations? Like, how the f like this is the definition of like right talent, wrong person, bro. Like, I swear we be God be giving, bro. God, why? Why do you be giving talent to like the weirdest people? Like, this is actually really like this is this took talent to make. But like, what the fuck though? Like, why do people sit down with their creativity and make this shit? I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it, but damn, like, what goes through their minds, bro? Chaos like mine. I can't be talking. I'm deranged. Number five. Larry I'm literally Thomas deranged, bro. So I can't be talking. This one if you Dead have serious. Epilepsy. This Do I care? No. Visionary artist and makes his videos as trippy and psychedelic as possible. His videos can be very scary, like Yell, which shows many distorted faces using a mirror effect, while psychedelic effects are shown over them. Another example is titled In Your Cube, and it features. Is that the fucking dummy from Ghostbumps? While similar psychedelic effects are shown. That's a dummy from Ghostbumps. My Dark Journal. The man on this channel goes by Victor. According Victor. to his videos, after his wife passed away oh, Michael Myers. during the Holocaust, no, hush, I mean. he made a deal with Slenderman to take revenge on the Nazi camp and to bring his wife back from the dead. Oh, good job, buddy. As a member of all the Jews, we, we, we strongly approve this message. <laughs> Exchange for his eternal servitude. His videos are scary, strange, and eventually lead to him stalking another YouTuber, Ted, whose channel is called The Bone Creek Story. Slenderman can be seen in his most disturbing oh, bay, in which he can be seen my ass. about to take his own life while under the control of Slenderman. Number three. Carrie Johnson meet the most popular person in the female masking community. That's for my green screen is so annoying. I can't fix it, guys, because like it'll never be perfect. But damn, what the fuck? The person behind this mask is a 52-year-old heterosexual man that goes by Carrie. His channel has just over 2,700 subscribers, and his videos are of himself in various. Wait, that's a guy? Oh, I thought that was just a girl with a weird-ass face. Male full-body latex costumes, including Oprah and as a nun. One of his most creepy videos is titled "Good Morning Joan" and is his music video to the song by the Cardigans with the same name. The video is of him dancing to the song in multiple female suits. This might come as a surprise, but Carrie has been married for over 10 years, and his wife thinks his obsession is weird. Wait, this fucker has a wife? What? Oh, hell nah, bro. That's weird. Now, it's actually creepy, dude. That's a, That wife's a keeper, though. If she's, well, is she fine, though? That's the question. I, if she probably looks like some slug, I wouldn't be surprised. Like, she looks like some uh, nasty, like, <laughs> Carrie also sells these full body suits on his website for about five hundred dollars. Number two, Nana. Nana. Six three. Nothing. Dude, this is the same fucker that made username six six six. I'm pretty sure. And they do those creepy ass uh, room tours. This fucker is actually hella talented, bro. Known about this YouTuber besides his Japanese origins. Japanese shit is so scary, bro. Most popular video, username six six six, and her scariest YouTube video. And dude, I was actually thinking of like doing a reaction video like to username six six six, like the video itself. But then I realized that was kind of that kind of be stupid because like. I feel like everyone and their mother has seen that video, and like a nerd reaction to it would be just boring. And plus, like, I I've seen it so many times, so it's like me reacting to it, like an actual video, would just be stupid because, like, I've already seen it so many times. You know what I mean? It's countdown, and many of his other videos could easily take. His I've seen this video so many times, and man. A very scary video made by this. YouTuber everyone has. I think. I think everyone has. And it shows a very creepy doll singing with bugs crawling up its face while cheerful music plays in the background. Uh. Attempting to contact Nana825763 is a bad idea, which was learned when a user on the Creepypasta wiki found out his email and contacted him wanting more information on username 666 and his YouTube channel. The user received the following response. You're very close to the truth here, so I'm gonna have to ask you to delete your account or else there will be consequences. Oh. I can't let anyone find out about this. I've tried so hard to keep it a secret. It's people like you who I have to watch out for and make sure they don't tell anyone else. Dude, it's not that deep. It's just a fucking... Wait, so like... Is this the person that made username 66? Dude, username 666, people are always like, how the fuck is the channel? Like, the channel's actually terminated. It was actually a real thing. I guarantee you, like, 
it was probably just, I don't, I don't even know. About any of what you said, when you were writing your story, you came really close. The truth is something bigger than just having two accounts though. You may disregard this as me trolling you, but if I were you, I'd delete your stupid story if you still want to live. Oh, shiver me timbers! Nana S e Some random person sent me an email, I'm scared. One, David Firth. Let's just sound fingers, bro. Don't disrespect sound fingers like that. This is a legendary series. You've probably heard of this channel due to first very popular. This guy's a legend, bro. Salad fingers. It's easily one of the scariest series on YouTube. It's not scary. It's a masterpiece. Salad fingers is an actual masterpiece. I'm dead serious, but if you haven't seen Salad Fingers, you need to watch it. You know, I haven't watched the newer episodes. I used to watch like the old, but I watched like the older ones. You know what I mean? I used to watch Salad Fingers like all the time in my free time, bro. That shit was my dude. This is probably the best like YouTube uh, anime made like series like show you know what i mean to the channel also features other animations some even more scary and confusing than yeah, i never found it creepy i always thought it was just cool of this is dog of man and it's a video interesting about a dog who can communicate in english the dog convinces his owner to buy tumor seeds and after a short while the tumor becomes too big the dog offers his own body as a replacement and things get way too graphic to show in this video got an idea for a talk damn it's crazy well guys that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it guys which one of those scared you the most like let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed the scary content more scary features you want to do i'll see you in the next one peace